when am I gonna race? I don't ever know either. <laughs> never know what you're going to expect. You never know how you're going to feel, but you just go out there and give it your all in. Anything can happen. I've won a race in literally the last kilometer of a race and that makes it exciting because the race is never over till you've crossed that finish line. So that makes it epic. I remember clearly this one memory that when we were younger I used to do horse riding and at home I'd still want to be horse riding and we used to take poles and pretend they were horses and make jumps and run around the garden doing a course. So technically I've been jumping over obstacles since I was pretty young. Um, I just think I was very brave, but you also need to be in obstacle course racing. You've just got to sort of get on that horse and hold tight and hope for the best and enjoy the ride. That's like your, your race in general. I think I secretly do a lot of grip because I work with my hands all the time. I have my own sports massage therapy practice. I just did an accredited course to study undergrad physio and then I took it to horses first and then I went to humans and then I studied my postgrad in psychology with the aim of working with athletes both mind and body especially focusing on injury and eating disorders and that's just been yeah, a big passion of my life working with athletes helping them with their goals and getting them back in the game. I think in any sport you're bound to get injured. Um, we learn how to train smarter, to train better. Yeah, you learn to adapt. It's kind of a blessing in disguise because if you have an ankle injury, you're able to smash some upper body. And yeah, what better place than coming to a rock climbing gym and being a kid and just hanging around. Um, getting back into sport after injury is actually really hard and I, I have a passion to work with athletes regarding that. Funny story is, yeah, I did uh, tear the ligament in my finger at Champs uh, last year and my rehabilitation involves playing with Play-Doh and hanging up washing. I tore my finger at the incline wall, actually. I just kept falling and I grabbed the rope wrong and and I tore my collateral ligament of my finger, which set me back about you know, four months, maybe more. Um, so yeah, I had to go really back to basics and rehabilitation and learning how to do that obstacle correctly. I think I've had my fair share of injuries and um, yeah, it's just about rehabilitating properly and not trying to come back too soon, which I've made plenty of those mistakes in the past. So this season, I definitely want to last the whole season and make it to the end of the year and race all the races. I definitely want to inspire um, other people in general, not necessarily just women, but just being really real and open um, when it comes to injuries, about setbacks. You know, we often just show our highlights and when things are really going smooth sailing, when really, for me, a lot of the time behind the scene, it's just like waves crashing and yeah, like the obstacles we face, it's never just, you know, to have a clean race is very seldom. It's very lucky and it means you've trained really hard and you've executed a perfect race, but it very seldom happens. So I think being real is definitely a goal for this year, just to let people know that it's okay not to always be okay, but it's how we come back, how we stand up, how we tackle whatever obstacle we face. And that's definitely something I wanna work on in helping other people this year and for as long as I can. All the injuries that I've been through and the setbacks, they've all led to something far better. And it's also made me, I think, a smarter athlete to come back, not so fast this year, but to come back healthy and strong and actually have a full season instead of this roller coaster. It's making time more for friends, for family, um, nice dates and doing cool different stuff, which is, which is really important just to be balanced. And yeah, you just have to trust the process and don't let everything consume you and overwhelm you. If you're not enjoying it, you shouldn't be doing it.